Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. Do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. If you're interested, check the description. I do all the lead code problems. I got a ton of them up, so go check those out if you want these explained to you. Uh, this one we're doing is called Container with Most Water. So, uh, this is a pretty good question. Um, you know, you could read this. It just says given n non negative integers where each integer kind of represents a coordinate in this box. Uh, we just want to have the we basically just want to have the max area here, right? So if we're given this list of integers, each integer is going to represent a height of a line on this kind of coordinate grid here, right? So um, we can see one, one, eight, eight, six, six, two, right, etc. And what we want is we want the maximum height and the maximum length to get the maximum area, right? Five by five is twenty-five. Five by three is fifteen. So we want. Um, that was just an example because we want the maximum height and max width. That's just how you get maximum area, right? So, and here, and what we have to do to get the maximum height is we have to have two lines that match up in height. Uh, they don't have to match up exactly, but they have to have at least the same height. So one of these can be taller than the other one, but the lower of the two is going to be used for calculating the height, right? So this is a... Uh, this is the max height in this ex particular example, and if we were to have used this one, the height would have only been, it would have been one um, by eight, which would be eight, compared to seven by seven, which is 49 and much better. Um, so to do this, we actually use a two-pointer technique where we're going to set one of the pointers at the initial uh, integer, uh, initial index of this array, and one at the very end, like a lot of two-pointer techniques. So let's actually just go ahead and start writing this out um, so we'll and we're gonna have a max area let me we're also gonna have this max area variable right? so max area is gonna start at zero because we haven't really found anything good yet um, and then we'll have our a pointer start at zero and then we'll have our B pointer start at height dot length minus one right and then like all the other uh, two pointers uh, a lot of the other two pointers we'll do while a pointer is less than B pointer so we're going to kind of like meet at a certain point. Um, and then this is basically the kind of meat and potatoes of this problem here, where we basically just do a check if height of A pointer is less than height of B pointer. So we're going to be checking if the height of this is less than the height of this. We're first going to do check max area is it we're going to set max, max area equal to math.max of, first of all, max area. So we're going to be checking the max area. Uh, we're going to calculate the area at each step with the indexes of the pointers. So we're going to, as we move the pointer uh, inwards, we're going to check the area each time of the container. And we're going to replace the max area if it's bigger. And we're going to return the final max area at the end. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to keep the same max area because we're going to be comparing it to itself. So we'll do max area compared with max area and the height of the smaller pointer because we have to use, and this is because we checked the smaller one because we have to use the smaller one, like I said, as the height uh, for calculating the height, right? The smaller one here is being used 7 compared to this one would have been 8. So we have to use 7 in that case. So we're using that height times our B pointer minus A pointer, and that's just to get the length, because the B pointer would be here, and the A pointer would be here in this case. Um, so that's it. We just check the max area against that, and then we have to increment whatever one. Uh, so A pointer would be incremented in this case. Otherwise, it's going to be the exact same thing. Max area is going to be compared, but in this case, the height of the B pointer was smaller, so we just have to replace it with B pointer and decrement our B pointer. Uh, at the end of this, we should have the maximum area that we could possibly get, and all we have to do is return that max area. So if we submit this, it should work first try. Uh, nope, line 13, uh, B pointer minus equals one, sorry guys. Always get a, you always get these syntax errors. Good practice for interview to kind of check on those. All right, so we got the success. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You use the two pointers, you move them inwards, and you find 
the max area, you check the max area at each height with kind of all of these different things. If we look at the solution, there's a little animation for it, right? We start at the very ends and we check every single time and we update the max area. We just recalculate it and update it. And whatever the one, the actual maximum of all of those was at the end, we just return that. Pretty cool problem. Uh, it just says time complexity of n, uh, space complexity of one, right? Because it's just a loop through we're not using extra space. So that's it for this problem. Uh, check out the other ones. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.